hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this angular video tutorial we will learn about everything of the custom directive how we can make it how we can use it everything all right but before that we have a question what is the directive so directly directives are basically used to manipulate your dom like you just want to change your style you just want to make some for loop you just want to make some if and else condition or like this all right so there is already uh, some a built-in directive also so let's uh, just check the list of them and I'm very sure that you are familiar with them like uh, if you just want to go on uh, ng if ng4 switch switch case and everything so ng class these are the by default directives that is provided by the angular all right and I already have medio on each of them so if you just want to check that then you can just click or uh, you can just find the link in the description box also so now uh, let's see that how we can just make a custom direct, uh, directives for that first of all let's generate a custom directives when you just generate it you will find the two new files and one is the modified files all right so now let's make it ngg directive and your directive name so let's say my directive name is custom style and just hit the enter and just enter it and just you can see that there is a two new file which is the uh, directive.spec.ts here you can also check that this is basically used for writing the style of the custom directive which is not useful for now and the second one is the custom style dot directives here we will just write our code all right so as you know that the custom directives are uh, or directives are basically used for uh, changing the behavior and style and everything in the DOM so we what we are just going to do we will just change the style of a paragraph or uh, some text with the help of this directives all right so you can understand it properly so first of all let's just go inside your app and HTML and just make some h2 tags so first h2 tag is I'm just going to write here normal add to text All right this is a header to text you can see that and there is you can just write here custom header to text just make it the correct to the custom All right and now um, just write your uh, directive names here so what is your directive name you can just go in the directive file and you can just find it here All right. So this is the selector of your directive and this is the name. So just write here like this. And now let's come back to your directive. First of all, let's just import your element.ref. And now just make an instance of it. So it can be a uh, private like el like uh, okay. And just write here uh, mm -mm, element ref. like this and now just change the behavior of your style with that line el dot native element dot style and just put your style color let's say I just want to put a red color now you will see that okay let's me let me check okay it should be style dot color okay now let's check and here you can see that your uh, custom head text is colors has been changed so if you just uh, remove it for a moment you will see that there is a no change so that here you can just uh, see that this is changing because of the directive all right so this is the simplest way that how you can just create your custom directive in the angular if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video Bye-bye.